Hey everyone, grab your waist because today is arm day. We are going to shred your arms. We're gonna get them nice and strong. It is an arm challenge. Okay, but before we grab our weights, make sure you put them right beside you. We always do something on Saturdays if you're new to the group. We actually do something called booty ups <laughs> and our booty outs. And what those are is that this is the best way, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, to raise your booty without using excessive weights. It does take a little longer than you would to do uh, excessive weights on your shoulders like a squat. Um, however, it's not as damaging uh, as, or possibly uh, uh, giving you an injury as the this particular method that I've been doing for years and years and years. I can't tell you how good this is. So what this does is it grabs the connection between your hamstring and your glute and it sends your booty packing its bags from the south and heading north, which is a huge difference. I can promise you, promise you, okay? And you can ask my husband this, that if you do these three times a week, add that fourth day in, you will one billion percent see that booty going up. My husband notices every single time I take a span of time to do these. So let's do those first, okay? So what does this look like? So you wanna see exactly that you've got the proper form because if you don't have the proper form, you're not gonna get the benefit of the exercise. You're actually gonna work a different muscle. So that's why form is so important. You wanna make sure you're on cue of what I'm actually doing and working. Okay, so key here is to be on your heels. Okay, so my feet are a bit more than shoulder width apart. I'm on my heels and I'm gonna bend down here. I'm gonna send my booty going backwards without bending my knees. My knees are bending only because my booty's going backwards. So I didn't start off with a knee bend, I started with my booty going backwards. Now, but you see my chest going down. My chest goes down because it compensates for my booty going back. That way I'm still over my feet. Otherwise, if I just stuck my booty back, I'd be back in that pool, which doesn't look so bad to be in, right? Okay, so watch, guys. So instead of doing this, I'm on my heels and I'm going back. See that? I'm going back and my feet are up. And then we stay down here and we pulse. That is, you should feel that connection right underneath your booty. If you don't practice it, if you still can't get it, you need to message me. We need to go live for two seconds together on a Facebook and we're gonna see uh, where you're at and I'm gonna fix you. I'm gonna help you out, okay? Now the next thing you wanna do, that's the first part, is we move on to one leg. You're gonna see me stand like this. When I stand like this, this leg here the one that I don't have the weight on has in fact zero weight on it. It is just there for balance. Let me move back a little bit back. It's just there for balance. So you're gonna stick your booty out. Again, that knee stays right above your ankle and your booty goes out and you put all your weight on there. And then the same thing true for this side. Okay guys, so before this arm challenge, this is what we're doing. Are we ready? Okay, we're gonna get a good amount of this in. You will. Feel this tremendously, but when you feel it the most is tomorrow morning when you get out of bed, you're gonna step down and you're gonna go, what? And you're gonna feel it right in that spot. It's very, very, very isolated. It's fabulous training. Spot training at its best. Okay, both feet facing forward, booties heading on back, and we are off. Are you ready? And go one, two, three, four. Just pulse it, five, six, Seven feet are not on the ground at all. The only things on the ground are my toes. Look at that, look how small the movement is. For those of you that are watching and are not doing, we're 100 guys. And those of you that are watching and not doing, you're like, what the heck is this woman doing? Guys, these are booty outs and these bring your booty up. And they do it in a big, bad way, okay? That's 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. One, two, three, four, you should be feeling it right now. Five, I feel it right now. Six, seven, eight, nine, 60. You're gonna feel it right behind your booty, right where your booty meets your hamstring. And you're gonna feel a big time. If you don't feel a big time, readjust. 70, one, two, three, Four, heels are uh, on, only on the ground. Seven, eight, nine, eighty. My feet are not on the ground. Two, three, booty going back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Don't break, go right onto the other one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. Now look down, guys. Make sure your knee is not going past your toe at all. As a matter of fact, your knee should be directly above your ankle. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going to fifty. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go to the other side. One, two, there's no rest. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. I'm on my heel. Three, four, my booty feels this. Five, six, not my quads. Eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to center. One, here we go. One, two, three, four, booty back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, look down. Two, three, my knees are right above my ankle still. They're still there. They're not going forward at all, but my booty's coming back and forth and my chest is coming down because my booty's going out. I have zero, zero weight. My feet aren't even touching the ground. Only thing that's on the ground right now happens to be my heels, okay? You guys gotta be the same. Keep looking down, making sure your form is good. 40, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and over. Ready? One, two, three, you're doing it. Four, five, no one said it was exciting. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toe up. One, two, three, four, five. Should be feeling it big time. Seven, eight, nine, twenty. This is one of those things that take a little bit longer in terms of the actual exercise to do because you need to feel it for a while. But let me tell you, the difference is spectacular. This is one of those exercises that yields a huge reward. Okay, but you gotta stick with it as silly as it may look. If you're doing this, you're feeling this, that area is the only area, 10 more, that's the only area that is getting all of this weight in such a small little area. We've managed 50 switch, we've managed to isolate this area in a big bad way. When you do your quad, um, when you do your squats, your glutes are involved, yes, big time, beautifully, but so are your quads and your knees and all of the, everything there above and your shoulders with all that weight on it. So it's really, really uh, taxing on the rest of your body. Here, the reason this is so effective is because this is just that area and that's hard to do and we are doing it. So it's just that area and that area is the only area that I want in particular because I want to be lean and muscular. Yes, you get lean and muscular with squats, 100 billion percent. However, you are taking a chance when you put that much weight on your shoulders that your knees are gonna bug you, that your quads are gonna bug you, and you need more, absolute more recovery time. This is just spectacular. This is great for wanting to continue over and over again, exercising on a daily basis, because the 50, and we'll go back to this one, we don't only exercise for what it looks like, right? And I know that people in here know exactly what I'm talking about. We exercise because we wanna feel great. 
And does that mean exercising daily? Absolutely, okay, so you sleep daily, you need to move your body daily. Does it have to be what I'm doing in here? No, of course not. On Wednesdays and on Sundays, I do fast track to six pack. That means that if you wanna get a six pack, you better join me on Wednesdays and Sundays, okay? So um, now abs, I personally do every single day uh, and I feel amazing. Whenever I get super, super sore from something new I do, and I change it up all the time, I, I give my body a break and I do something else. The best thing you can do when you need a break is go for a swift walk, a jog, do some cardio, because we don't do a lot of cardio in here, we do hit cardio, but not that kind of cardio. And then you can uh, keep going on a daily basis because you need that endorphin rush, that release, that, that complete feeling that allows you chemically to actually sleep better at night and be less stressed. So exercise is so many other reasons. 50, I'm assuming that's 50, I'm sorry. Um, I'm counting in tens, I'm thinking, could that be 50? It could be 60, <laughs> but it's okay. So the exercise to me makes me uh, feel like uh, uh, phenomenal. Makes me, gives me energy, it makes me sleep better, it puts me in the best mood ever, um, and I just feel 80, I just feel phenomenal. And I'm assuming that you guys probably feel the same, and as you see your body uh, really catching up to your mind, that's really motivating to see you know, yourself shrinking in the mirror, feeling like you're getting rid of toxins, and starting to see some muscles, getting some lean scalar activity going. 90, 10, 9, should be feeling this, 8, 7, my bees on fire, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. That was insane. Now, I didn't forget, I did forget to mention that you guys, next time you do this, do this with some weights, and my people in here know to add weights to everything. Okay, I did not add the weights this time because there's so many, it's like 200 new people in here. I wanna make sure that you guys know that as this gets easier, you guys can add more weights now. You say, hey, Lindsay, that was, that was pretty okay. Your beauty, work, that can, I don't believe I'm wearing this. <laughs> that, that connection right uh, between your hamstring and your glutes, that connection you should feel, but wait until tomorrow morning when you get out of bed. Okay, guys, take a second, grab a drink if you need a drink. You should be feeling kind of like, wow, what the heck is that? My booty's awake and it's packing its things. It's packing, actually, as we're talking right now, it's packing the underwear drawer and saying, you know what, we're gonna go south or the sock drawer, but it's packing something. Okay, guys, so what, you're gonna grab your weights. I suggest five pounds to start. This arm challenge is extraordinarily hard. I do the same arm challenge for, uh, gosh, uh, the longest time. This, I've the two that I alternate from only, um, and the reason being is because it's a challenge, so I wanna see how you're doing and you can gauge your own progress. So every Saturday we have the same one. Now, if you've mastered it, the only thing you need to do, because I cover every aspect of your arms, the only thing you need to do is up the weights, okay, and do it again, okay? No one ever said I was exciting, as I mentioned. However, I get the job done. This is, this is no frills workout. This is, it just works. Bottom line, it just works, and I'm in it to win it. This is how you do it. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with bicep curl, okay? One, two, now make sure your, your arms go to straight here. When your arms go straight instead of stopping midway here like this, a lot of people do, you actually get the insertion of the muscle and if you're in it to shred with me and get nice and lean and muscular, you're gonna get the insertion of that muscle and it's gonna give you that bump that you're looking for to give you some definition. <laughs> okay, so that's really good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's do two up. One, one, and down. Two, two, and down. Three, three, and down. Four, four, and down. Five, five, and down. Six, six, and down. Seven, seven, and down. Eight, eight, and down. Nine, nine, and down. Ten, ten, and down. Up, two, down. Up, one, two. Always go to straight. Two, one, Two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, and ten, one, two. Last twenty. Twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. 14, squeeze your abs, bend your knees. 13, I'm burning out. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, and one. Give it a second. Okay, so you're, you're gonna see, because we're doing so many reps, that five pounds becomes like, for me, like 50 pounds. Not that I've ever done 50, but that insertion right here, you should be feeling that. All right, here we go, guys. Now you're gonna raise your arms. We're getting a little harder. You're gonna raise and lower, okay? Ready, here we go. One, and down. Squeeze your abs. Two, and down, and bend your knees. Three, and down. Four, and down. Five, and down six and down, seven and down, eight and down, nine and down, 10 and down, one and down. We're going to 20, two, and the same count for everything. Okay, you'll get familiar with the count in just a moment. Four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, two up, one, one and down, two, two and down, three, three and down, four, four and down, five, five and down, you should be burning, six, six and down, squeeze your abs, seven, seven and down, eight, eight, don't give up, nine, nine, 10, 10, now up straight, two down, ready? Up, one, two, good, two, one, two. You know what's interesting about this is that your mind is so gonna give up, like I always say before your body does, so stick with it, okay? If you get halfway up, I'm great with that, okay? And seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, and 10, one, two. Here we go for 20, ready? One, this is a challenge, two, that's why we call it a challenge. Three, four, Five, squeeze those abs. Six, go to right to 90. Don't go above 90 because you lose it at that point. Eight, nine, this is 10. We've got 10 left. Fight, you've got this. One, two, three, four. Breathe it out. Count with me, guys. Five, get your mind off of it. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, good, give it a second. That is fabulous. Okay guys, are you ready? Here we go. The next one is over your head. So you're a goal post, right? And as my husband say, goal, he's Costa Rican, so you got this goal thing going on in my house. You're gonna come up here like this and come down, okay? Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, goal post. One, two, three, count with me. Four, five, six, seven, eight, I feel this already, nine, 10, one, two. So everything's adding up, right? So it's not that one is easier than the other, but you've done so many more before this one that your arms are getting tired and that's the point. Stay with their technique and then you'll be good. Ready? One, one and down, two, two and down, three, three and down. Four, four and down, five, five and down, six, six and down, seven, seven, eight, eight, good, nine, nine, ten, ten, up, two down, up, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, nine, one, two, ten, one, two, okay, five, five, four, three, two, one, 20. One, two, squeeze your abs, three, four, five, six, burning, seven, me too, eight, nine, 10, and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness, right? For me, that one is so hard. It's funny because now, so wait, hold your both your weights on one hand and pick up your arm. It's amazing. This is amazing. I am holding five pound weights, okay? So it's so easy. I'm actually, I'm holding four pound weights. They're supposed to be five pound weights. I'm holding four pounds. I just noticed the number is different. Okay, and I'm still dying. I'm, my arms are falling off. That's crazy. Oh, I've never used these before. That's good. I'm actually kind of happy with like, the way my arms feel right now that they're fours. Okay, are you ready, guys? We are on to the next one, which is straight back. Okay, so you're gonna come here like this, 
okay? And you're gonna turn your palms up, okay? So it's not like this with your hammer curl style. It's palms facing to the ceiling. Really important, it's a totally different exercise, okay? We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or like this, eight, nine, what's that, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. Ready, one, two, and down, two, two, and down, three, three, and down. Make sure that your shoulders aren't in your ears. You gotta drop your shoulders down so that you're comfortable and you're not killing your traps. Okay, because then you'll get a headache, and I don't want you to have a headache. 10, 10, and down. Ready? Up, two down. Up, one, two. Two, one, two. Three, one, two. Four, one, two. Five, one, two. Six, one, two. Seven, one, two. Eight, one, two. Looks like you're gonna get nine, one, two. 10, one, two. 20, one, two, three, four, five, Six, you got it, seven should be burning. Eight, nine, 10. Shoulder check, make sure that your shoulders are down and not up like this, okay? Get them out of your ears. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Take a second. It's really good, guys. Shake your arms out one at a time. I am four pound weights and I am flipping out and needing a break. That's crazy. Okay, guys, this is why you challenge yourself. Again, bend your knees, squeeze, those yummy abs you've got and put your the top of your weights by your shoulders. This one again is really challenging, okay? Here we go, one. Now you're gonna wanna uh, lean forward in this or lean back. I am asking you to squeeze your abs so that you stay still and get the most out of this exercise, okay? 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, double it up, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, 10, 10, out, two in, out, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, two, six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, Nine, one, two, ten, one, two, twenty. Here we go. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze. Come on. Ten. We got it. Nine. Count with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put the weight down for a second. Unbelievable, right? That's <laughs> unbelievable. Seriously, okay, so stretch out any way you can. Whatever you need to do, just give yourself a hug for a second. For me, it's crazy, crazy shoulder work. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Grab your weights. Okay, the next one here is a little more difficult. You're gonna get your elbows behind you. Okay, I may, I may need to take a break for this one while I'm doing it, and if you don't, just continue, okay? You're here, you're going straight out. That's literally straight out. Okay, it's not in front. Don't turn your weights like this. It's literally straight out as if there's, uh, you're standing on a line going this way and these go along the line, okay? Here we go, you ready? One, two, three, seemingly easy. Four, wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. That's how bad it is for me, right? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, five, four, I'm not joking, three, two, one, out, two, in, out, one, two, two, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, Five one two six one two seven one two eight one two nine one two ten one two. Ha! Huh, unbelievable. Tell me you guys are feeling this. You ready? Go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, creeps up in you, eight, nine, 10 and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put those weights down. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, here, so grab behind and stretch it up. Grab a wall, if you have a wall, and go here. And so you put your hand flat against the wall like that and just turn your body in this position. I don't know what's gonna help you right now, but you know what? That may help, okay? You just stretch it out here. It's very difficult to stretch that area. Okay, guys, we're good, right? We're going to the next one. We have two left, all right? Well, we have a little bit more than two left. Okay, let's go here. You're gonna lift straight up. Again, this one is going to challenge me big time. I'm more than likely going to take a break. You do not need to break, okay? Ready, here we go. One, two, arms are slightly bent just to protect your, your elbows. You're moving only from your shoulders, okay? We're using a different part of our shoulders right now. You're still gonna feel the burnout in a big bad way. That's 10, ready, and 10, nine, squeeze those abs, eight, bend your knees, protect your back, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, ready? One, one, going up, ready? Here we go, one, one, and down. Two, two, and down. Three, three, and down. Make sure you're coming perpendicular to your body, right? And don't go higher than that. Five, five, woo! Six, six, that's what I'm talking about. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, I'm sweating. 10, 10, give me a second, ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. One, one, two, all the way up, two down. 